Okay, so um, here we've got a cyclic quadrilateral. You've got a four corners all, all on the circumference of the circle. So therefore, the opposite angles in the cyclic quadrilateral will add to 180. Therefore, this Y here will be 130 degrees because these two will add to 180. Okay, so this is the first circle frame. We've got um, an angle on the circumference and an angle at the center. Therefore, the angle at the center will be double the angle of the circumference. So this angle will be 100 degrees. Okay, so this question is a mixture of the first circle frame and the fourth circle frame. So the angle at this circumference will be half the angle at the center. So this one's double this one. So this angle here will be 140 degrees. And the fourth circle frame is the cyclic quadrilateral. You can see the four-sided shape, one, two, three, four. So this angle and this angle will add to 180. So therefore this angle will be 110 degrees. So this question, uh, you've got a circle and you've got two tangents that go and touch the circumference of the circle. And you've got a line that joins up the center of the circle to the point outside of the circle where the tangents originate from. And it's explained that, uh, why exa uh, <clears throat> explain why angle ABC is 100 degrees. So, circle theorem 6 says that a tangent will touch uh, the circle and where you draw the radius to that point, the angle will be 90 degrees. So in other words, this is a 90 degree angle and that's a 90 degree angle. Also, because the distance from the point to the centre and the two radii are the same, Therefore, these two lengths will be the same. Also, I suppose that's going to be circle term number five, that the distance from the point to the, the where the tangent meets the circle is equal. Uh, so therefore, this angle here must be 40 degrees as well. So we've got 90 and 40. So 90 plus 40. And so where it says show your work in, or explain why, you can show your work on the diagram too. So 90 plus 40 is 130. And sorry, when I say explain why, you're going to need to write this in a sentence. So 90 plus 40 is 130. So it means that this angle here is 50 degrees. And also that means that this angle here will be 50 degrees because this angle is identical. Therefore, the angle here will be 50 plus 50 is 100 degrees. Now you would write that in words, okay, and you would write that in a sentence, because this is explain why you need to write sentences as to why that's the case. So you would write something along the lines of, um, the tangent will meet the tangents will meet the circles at 90 degrees to the radius, so that you would explain that. You would also explain that this angle, um, angle uh, BDC, would also have to be 40 degrees, because the triangles are the same as each other, because the distance is the same. So therefore, that you would have the 40 plus 90, is 130 and then that would leave 50 for the angle ABD and that that angle is the same as angle B, oh sorry, DBC and therefore then they would add those together to get 100 degrees. So you'd have to write that in a sentence or two. Okay, so here we've got a question we've been asked to calculate X and calculate Y. Now notice that you have got a cyclic quadrilateral and then you've also got the, an angle at the center and an angle on the circumference. So. Uh, X and 134 will add together to give you 180 because it's a cyclic quadrilateral circle frame number 4. So 180 take away 134 would leave you with 46 degrees. So that means that X is 46 degrees. Now X is on the circumference and Y is at the centre. Don't get confused and think that Y is, is connected with 134 in the same by circle frame number 1. It's going to be the X and the Y. So the angle at the centre is double the one on the circumference. So you're going to double the 46 and get 92. So this would be 92 degrees. Okay, in this question we've been asked to calculate the value for x and to give a reason. Quite often with circle theorem questions you've got to give a reason for your answer. Now because of circle theorem number 3, you can see that we've got here two points on the circumference, that should be a straight line, straight line here. And you've got chords that go up to the circumference here and chords that go up here. Therefore we've got angles in the same segment. So this means that x is equal to 47 degrees. So x is 47. And you would explain, because it's uh, circle frame number four, you wouldn't say circle frame number four, you would explain in words that you've got angles in the same segment. You might want to explain a bit more about the chords that originate from A and B um, meeting in the same segment, but that's fine. Okay, in this question, we've got a cyclic quadrilateral again, and we've got an angle at the center. So the cyclo quadrilateral is P, Q, R, S. So you can see it here. So that means if this is 100, this angle at the top is going to be 80 because the opposite angles add up to 180. 
Then we've got the angle at the circumference and the angle at the centre. So B is going to be double 80, so it's going to be 160 degrees. Okay, so in this question we've got a circle, and we've got CD as a tangent to the circle at C, and it says calculate the angle C here. Okay, uh, so the first thing I'm noticing is that you've been given the angle between the tangent and the chord. So I'm thinking alternate segment theorem, so circle theorem number seven. So this angle here is equal to the angle in the opposite segment. So this angle here would be 44 degrees. Now we've got two angles out of the three in the triangle. So if you add the 50 and the 44, you can take those away from 180 and get C. So 50 plus 44 is 94 degrees. And then 180 take away 94 degrees. Well, if you do that, you're going to get 86 degrees. Okay, so I says it could give reasons for your answer. Okay, you would say angle um, the angle at A is 44 degrees due to alternate segments. Segment theorem. Then angles in a triangle. add to 180. In this question we've been asked to calculate the angle at x. So we've got PAQ is a tangent to the circle at A. BC is the same length as CD, so BC and CD, so this is an isosceles triangle here. It says angle BAQ, so BAQ is 32 degrees, and also uh, AD is parallel to BC. Okay. Well, we've been given the angle between the tangent and the chord, so I'm thinking alternate segment theorem, theorem number 7. So if this is 32 degrees, this angle up here would be 32 degrees, using the triangle and the alternate segment theorem. Okay, now it says AB is parallel to BC. So here you've got two parallel lines, here and here, and you've got this Z shape, the alternate, um, alternate angles. So this angle here would be also equal to 32 degrees. See the Z shape? So that means that that angle and that angle would be the same. So because this is an isosceles triangle, this, with this angle here would also be 32 degrees. And then you can add these two together and take it away from 180. So 180 subtract 64 is 116 degrees. Okay, in this question, we've got a cyclic quadrilateral again, and you've also got um, an angle at the center and an angle at the circumference. So Y is gonna be double whatever X is. So let's first of all work out what X is. So you know that the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180 degrees. So I know that if I add this and this together, so if I do X plus, if I do, sorry, if I do X plus, 2x minus 15, I know that that's going to be equal to 180 degrees. Let's simplify this. If I add x to 2x, I'm going to get 3x minus 15. So 3x minus 15 is equal to 180. Add on 15, so 3x equals 195. And divide both sides by 3 is going to give you that x is equal to 65 degrees. Since x is equal to 65 degrees, y is going to be double it, because it's an angle at the circ uh, circle frame number 1. So if you double it, you're going to get 100 of y is equal to 130 degrees. Okay, in this question, the diagram shows a circle with centre O and radius 2.5 centimetres. TA is a tangent to the circle of length 6 centimetres. So let's actually label these. O to, uh, the radius is 2.5. The tangent here is 6 centimetres from T to A and a line joins O and A. Um, we know this is going to be 90 degrees because we've got a tangent that touches the radius, so meets the radius, and we've been asked to find the length of AB, okay, so A to B. Now, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to work out the distance from O to A first of all, and then work out the distance from A to B, okay? So we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem. We know that this is the hypotenuse, okay? So we're going to label them A smallest, B, the next one, C, the largest. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So 2.5 squared plus 6 squared equals C squared. 
So 2.5 squared is 6.25 plus 6 squared is 36 equals c squared. So when you add those, you get 42.25 equals c squared. And then you just square root that. So the square root of 42.25 equals 6.5. So c equals 6.5. So the whole distance, OA, equals 6.5 centimeters. Okay, now we've been asked to find the distance from A to B, so just from here to here. But we know the radius is equal to 2.5, so that means that this must be 4 centimeters. So AB equals 4 centimeters.